Okay, today we're using the Lang um, La Pearl wand. It's the bubble wand. Um, this, I've always been a big fan of the bubble wand. It can do some fun things. You can do large sections and do big waves, or you can do smaller sections and you can do these sort of kinky curls that will then mess with for the sake of time. This one is a little more time consuming. Um, I, uh, I did the first half. Now, I, I'm using products today that actually can save you a good bit of money because this is the SGX um, NYC uh, the Bodyguard Protective Texture Spray. You can buy this at Target. I think it's like 10 or $12. It's, it's, it's really inexpensive compared to some of the other stuff that I use. But this, the advantage of this one is this is both a protecting spray and a texturizer. So, you know, a lot of times you'll see me use the um, Lang um, Sea Salt um, Texturizer, but I have to use it in a protector on top of it. So this does both at once. And on the, like, stickiness factor, it's... Um, let me do so I did this before but I'm gonna do get a little more in here. Um, it's it's about a I don't know a two out of a three sort of you know it's got a nice um, good hold to it so I'm gonna do one inch sections that's a little too much um, I'm gonna do them away from my face for the look that I want to achieve today okay so um, you're going to hold this, uh, oh, sorry, I probably should have done the other side um, on camera and this side away because this is the one that I have to use my um, left hand to hold and my right hand to, um, this is a small section so it didn't go all the way down the little wand. They come with a glove. I don't use the glove, but you probably should if you're new to it. All right, and this is good. one gets really hot, so you don't have to hold it in forever. And you sort of unwrap it, and you get this little kinky curl. Um, because I'm doing smaller sections with this one, it's going to take a little bit longer um, than my, you know, big wave that I do with um, a curling wand. Um, you can actually, I mean, you can do them. I can do this one this way too. That way you can let's get a little bit of better view you can see that that came out pretty I'm gonna try to hold the curl in my hand while it cools for a little while right. you can see that my hair has gotten to about two inches <laughs> grown out. Thank you, coronavirus. Salons are open, but I'm not convinced that's a good idea yet. So close quarters, and we have many risk factors in this house, so it just has to deal, and I am certainly not going to attempt to bleach it myself. I um I don't clip like the top up, you know, one of the big ways that people like to so I'll do this one. You can see. I do it this way. Um a lot of people like to clip up and do the top part of their hair and then the bottom part of their hair. This is not my preferred method. I rather I prefer to do one half and then the other half. Um but I don't have layers, so that's one of the if you have different layers of your hair, sometimes you need to separate the top from the bottom. But I am super, super anti-layer. <laughs> it never, it just doesn't work on my hair. It makes it just unruly and difficult to manage. Um, so I like it to be all the same length. A little angling around my face, but that's that's about it. We got about three more sections here. It's a little bit tangled from I washed it last night, and I didn't. Um, I 
stuff a bit just loose. Shake it loose from the wand. Two more to go. Yeah, and I'm sort of alternating under pieces and over um, higher pieces. I am not, they're all being curled away from my face. Um, none of them are being, you can alternate back and forth or mix it up and get a little bit um, less uniform look, but I, I think this, this particular one gives you such a, um, it's already not a uniform look, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's necessary and I'm just in the habit of curling away from my face, so um, I'm gonna stick with that. I know you see it's, it looks like it's coming forward to me, but the way that it's wrapped is really not. And you can see that there's some portions that are like on the bubble and some that are just sort of around it. And now as my hairspray, I'm going to use the SGX NYC do it all one which is a dry texture spray it's um a dry shampoo plus um volume and hold um my hair is totally clean but all right so here you can see what it looks like and now i'm gonna run my fingers through it i might pop on a, a little bit of um the moroccan oil treatment if i can get it open there we go it's the moroccan oil um, Marco oil treatment. Um, I like to use this one when I'm separating out curls. Back up so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and I sort of parted a little bit um, left of center, but okay. So now you can see this is a nice. Really fun curl. Doesn't leave that kinky bubble behind. It's a, um, a sort of a very, this one's a tighter wave-ish, but you can get, um, use bigger sections and you can get a bigger wave. Yeah, okay, so now here's the do it all in one. And I'm gonna flip my head. Focusing on my roots to get the, Volume. And then I'll this little piece over here is not cooperating with me. There we go. There you go.